Headline edition, July 8, 1947. The Army Air Force has announced that a flying disc has been found and is now in the possession of the Army. Army officers say the missile, found sometime last week, has been inspected at Roswell, New Mexico, and sent to Wright Field, Ohio, for further inspection. Hey guys, it's Jamie. I'm back again from MovieCon with one of our other authors. We got Jim over here, and she's going to tell us all about herself. Hi. Um, yeah, I'm J.L. Mulvihill, and um, I'm a young adult uh, author. I write fantasy novels, um, which my first fantasy is The Lost Daughter of Issa, and um, it's about a 17-year-old girl who uh, falls through a spider web and ends up in another dimension. She wakes up in an ancient forest uh, with amnesia and has to figure out who she is, where she is, and why she is while fighting off demons, goblins, and a dark witch. Um, I also am writing a steampunk series um, that's coming out in May, and it's the Steel Roots series, and the first book is The Boxcar Baby. And it's an American adventure. A uh, girl has to find her father, and uh, she does a lot of train hopping and traveling across America by using this map, and, and uh, there's clues on the map, so it's going to be a lot of fun. That's coming out through Seven Star Press. She becomes a uh, train hobo. Yeah, kind of, yeah. <laughs> um, I, I have a short story in Clockwork Spells, Magical Bells. Um, it's a fun story. It's about a steamship captain who finds a leprechaun floating on the Mississippi River. How awesome is that? <laughs> Everybody likes leprechauns. Um, and then, uh, so I like writing steampunk, so I do a lot of short stories in steampunk. Cool. Um, but I also like writing ghost stories. And so I have a ghost story coming out in Southern Haunt, which is coming out okay. next weekend at Mid South. That's, I think somebody told us that one. Yeah. Yes, Alexander Brown. I edited, I, yep. I edited yeah, it with him. It. Yeah. Yes. Uh huh. So, and I have a short story in there as well as editing it with him. Oh, cool. So, um, and and then of course the dreams of steam. I have stories in almost all of those. So that's pretty good too. So you told us what your latest book was. Uh -huh. You told us what was coming out. So tell us. Um, what did you get into? Why did you get into writing? Um, actually, I've been writing all my life, um, pretty much. I just didn't realize that it was my calling. I kind of thought it was like a hobby, you know, and so it just kind of put it on the sideline. Uh, I thought I was going to be a rock star. So, of course not. Yeah, so I did my hand at, at being in bands and stuff for a while, and it didn't quite take, you know, it was just the wrong time. So I went and had a real life, family, kids, and everything, but that writing thing kept nagging at me, and um, I had this wild dream one night about being chased through the woods by a giant spider, and it was such a creepy dream, and um, it kind of kept mulling around in my head, and it kind of started turning into a story, and I told my family about it, and they said, well, why don't you write it down? So I said, all right, why not? So I sat down, and I started writing it down, and the next thing I know, I have 180,000 words. And I'm like, a lot of words. <laughs> what am I going to do with this now? So then I, I saw, happened to see in a newspaper um, an ad for Mid South Pond, and which is in in, uh, in Memphis. And I went there and I met all these writers and um, and publishers, and I met all these great people who were really nice and started talking to me. And I was like, oh, this is cool. This is a whole other world I didn't know about. And so I just kind of got in, went in from there. Awesome. So, yeah. So what what advice would you give people who know they want to be writers but not quite sure how to go about it? Well, first of all, the number one thing is you have to finish your story. That's key. Finish the story and and edit it really well and get a friend to read it and edit it really well. And then I suggest going to the con, like Movicon, and um, meeting the people, the authors, and the publishers and talk to them about it and see if it's something that they can help you with because the authors are approachable and at, the, at these cons. And I think that's what is great about it. So that's, that would be my advice. And then go from there. We asked all the other ones to tell us something about about you that you know it's kind of you know nobody else not everybody knows something about me about you um wow I don't know um well I, I guess it was in my bio that I used to be a rock star but uh I don't yeah I used to live on a boat how about that there you go nobody knows that <laughs> we, we got some fears and, and likes earlier we got to, with um Alex <laughs> Alex being afraid of lizards and uh, I'm terrified of spiders, and I wrote about them, and I wear them all over me. And um, this is the spider witch costume, which is the, the evil witch in the novel. Gotcha. But I am terrified of spiders. 
so <laughs> weird, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you for talking to us. Thank and, you. And we're looking forward to seeing you at MovieCon. I have lots of fun. I'm looking forward to going there, too. I'm excited. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.